Hey, what's going on there, folks? Welcome back here. It is the Earth Master on this Thursday, October 10th, 2024, about 5.19 p.m. here, California time, with an update on space weather activity. Goodness, we are ramping up here with auroras being spotted all over the place here after dark or after sunset here across the eastern portion of the country. Goodness, overhead auroras being reported across New York, all over the place here as the sunset begins to approach the west coast out here i'm waiting for my turn looks like uh, we're in for a treat tonight in terms of the uh, aurora outbreak this is very similar to what we've seen back in may with widespread aurora auroras being reported down in, even in the southern california texas area and i think even in the florida so uh, things are really ramping up. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of this data that's coming in right now. KP index here, at least on um, very, very close here to the nine level, which is a G5 class storm on some of these models. Now, there is one model here from the uh, Germany GFZ model showing a KP index above the nine level here. Uh, we're talking about KP index up around the 10 or so. Uh, and that's from uh, these folks here, um, the German agencies that model, monitor space weather activity. So that is fairly significant here. And um, I think this is going to be a potentially a once in a lifetime event once again here as we see auroras down into some extremely low latitudes. Now, if you'd missed May uh, in terms of that aurora outbreak, you might want to get out today and see it or later tonight and uh, see if you can see it away from city lights and uh, potentially could have it overhead. Uh, if not, then look out on the northern horizon there and you'll be able to see that um, as we are expecting. As you can see right there, G4 to G5 class storm. That is very significant here. KP index up around the nine range. Um, now, if we look at, um, let me go back over here real quick and check out the Alaska um, Aurora forecast here, right here. This um, will show you a little bit better visual as well. KP index up around eight, but I, I guarantee you it's gonna be just about nine right now. Here is the view line uh, from the Alaska education site of Aurora potential. Aurora overhead here in the Northern California, down in Oklahoma, uh, Tennessee, the Carolina area. The view line could be down here to Florida and Southern California, Central Texas, maybe even getting into Mexico right here. Southern New Mexico, or Southern New Mexico, maybe the tip here of Mexico, being able to see a little bit of uh, Aurora activity on the Northern horizon so we are getting uh, again sunset activity right now uh dark out there across the majority of the country i got another oh man another hour or so maybe another hour and a half before it gets completely dark out here across northern california so i'm going to be waiting on it hopefully this uh holds up i want to show you guys the uh real-time solar wind stream here because this plays a major part look what is going on here with the BZ component of the interplanetary magnetic field. It is pointed way south here. This red line, uh, very similar to what we've seen back in May of this year. That uh, right there will allow for escalation and further amping up of the auroras here, along with the, uh, uh, the density, the CME activity that we're experiencing here in the last uh, 12 hours or so. This BZ component allowing amplification there of the auroras tonight. So it's it's a dandy of a night if you are into the aurora activity. I would take a little second there if it's dark outside and look towards the north or maybe even overhead in your location. We're also being bombarded here with the proton events right now from uh, the recent X-flare activity. And uh, that is continuing for a little bit, quite a bit there. Um, Flaring activity, a little M flare right now, it looks like on the far side of the sun from a western limb sunspot. Let's see what's going on here. You know, they say that there could be uh, internet issues, communication systems when the earth gets slammed like this with a G5 class storm. And maybe that's why I'm getting a little bit of slowdown here on the internet. Maybe not. I don't know. Maybe a lot of people are visiting the solar ham site. Uh, which is, uh, you know, become it becomes pretty popular for space weather information. But there's the M flare. And again, uh, G4 to G5 storming conditions here 
we got a decent shot of auroras here across the majority of the state. So don't let that opportunity slip by. We had it back in May. If you missed out, you might want to get it tonight. Um, and if you think about this, this is a major event in terms of space weather activity. And uh, where's our earthquake activity? You know, a lot of a lot of uh, people tend to think that earthquake activity will ramp up. We get big earthquakes and a lot of uptick in earthquake activity following a space weather event. Not a zip zero, folks. This looks like any given day out here across the uh, world in terms of plate tectonics. Nothing major going on in Southern California. No major swarms. No major big earthquake activity. In fact, the largest earthquake is a 5.4 from early this morning, and there's five pointers on any given day out here so no signs of any space weather relationship with earthquake uptick and that's a uh, another one in the books unless uh, you know we'll we'll give it 24 hours right because sometimes uh maybe it takes a little bit for this activity to um you know work with the plates but after that you know to say there's a couple weeks or so that you have to wait in order to see earthquake activity elevated from space weather, that doesn't make any sense at all. So it's got to happen uh, while it's occurring or immediately after or during. You know, it's it, it makes sense. Anything else outside of that uh, that level would be pointless. That's like saying, yeah, we're gonna have an earthquake because the sun exists. <laughs> you know, it's come on. Anyway, um, I wanted to do a quick update here. Uh, let you guys know what's going on here. G5 storming conditions here. Just about just about G5. I wouldn't doubt it if this gets upgraded here pretty soon here. Like I, like I mentioned here, uh, uh, the German agencies here are showing above 9 in the 10 range for the KP index here. All right. Uh, let me know if you get the auroras tonight where you're at. If you feel like sharing some photos, send it to earthmastermail at gmail.com. That's my email. Let me know your name, location if you want maybe at least your location and um we'll share it on uh, a future video update here for now i'm going to get ready to go out and uh, see what i can see for myself once it gets dark out here so i'm i'm hoping it gets dark here real soon like i said we've got about an hour and a half or so before it gets completely dark in northern california but it's looking highly likely that we'll see a repeat of the may solar storm events that we've seen back then so all right enjoy folks we'll catch you guys back out here a little bit later